Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter. Welcome to your Tennis Now News Update. Well, guess what? Andy Roddick is returning to tennis. Well, for one tournament at least. The former world number one announced he's going to be partnering with his good buddy Marty Fish in doubles at the Atlanta Open next month. Andy is active on the senior circuit, but this is going to be his first ATP appearance since his emotional retirement at the 2012 U.S. Open. Andy says his one-time comeback is all to spend time with Marty. They've been friends since they were 12 years old. They were high school roommates and then later teammates on the U.S. Davis Cup team. The two say they just wanted to spend some time together and play one more time. Andy says Atlanta was the obvious choice for them because they both had success there and they love that tournament. And he says he really hopes that he doesn't embarrass himself out there. The former U.S. Open champion had hoped to play the U.S. Open doubles with Fish, but Andy's going to be a little busy around that time because his wife, Brooklyn Decker, is expecting their first child. Marty Fish, you may have heard, has been coping with some anxiety disorders in recent years. He plans to play singles in Atlanta as well. The two-time former Atlanta champion made his ATP return back in March, losing at Indian Wells. Marty, who is now a father to son Beckett, is not committing to a full-time comeback as he continues to face some emotional challenges. He says his ultimate goal is to play the U.S. Open again. He says it's no secret he'd love to go back to the U.S. Open where it kind of sort of came crashing down for him in 2012. He wants to conquer that place, he told the media. By conquer, though, he says he just wants to get back out there on the court. He says he's got a lot of demons, but he says it all starts in Atlanta for him. So we wish him all the best. Well, the King of Clay has reclaimed his title turf on grass. Rafa Nadal defeated Victor Troicki in the Mercedes Cup final to his first grass court title since he won Wimbledon in 2010. It is Rafa's third Stuttgart championship. He raised the title back in 2005, again in 2007, when the tournament was still played on red clay. Well, this was the Mercedes Cup's debut as a grass court event, which makes Rafa the only man to own Stuttgart titles on two different surfaces. The top seed said winning four matches against quality opposition gives him confidence ahead of Wimbledon, which gets underway in two weeks. Rafa not only won his second title of the year and 66th of his career, he collected the keys to this very cool bright yellow Mercedes. And you know, Rafa, always happy to spend time with fans, gave some kids a surprise lesson. That's what happened when the group of school kids from LTA visited the Queens Club. Rafa helped the LTA celebrate its 20,000th milestone for its tennis schools program. Good for him. And welcome back Milos Raonic and his sleeve. The ballistic serving Canadian made a winning return this week at Queens Club, beating James Ward. It was Milo's first match after undergoing foot surgery last month, which you may have noticed sidelined him from the French Open. The 2014 Wimbledon semifinalist also took some time to hit with Andy Murray. Well, if you've ever been to London, you know traffic there can get a little crazy. Well, sometimes experienced travelers bring their own wheels. How about Nick Kyrgios? He pulled out the portable scooter to take in some of the local sites, including a return to Wimbledon. Nick practiced a bit with John Isner in London. And in case you missed it, our friends at Babolat had some fun with players during the French Open. The top players there were asked to read and react to tweets from other players, and things got a little interesting. Here's Joe Wilfred Sanga enthusiastically revealing naked is part of the universal language in response to Jack Sock tweets. Jack Sock, there might be a possible naked gun dance move post first speech tonight. Just a heads up. I didn't understand one word of this sentence, but I just understand naked. So let's go, let's go for it. Learning that Fabio Fognini confesses to being a bad boy cracks up Jeannie Bouchard. Fabio Fognini. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. <laughs> what you want to do, what do you want to do? <laughs> I am so curious as to what happened before that tweet. <laughs> Heather Watson reveals Aggie Radwanska's concept of Fat Thursday is a daily holiday in her world. 
Agnieszka Radwanska tweeted, in Poland, we call it Fat Thursday, and tradition is to eat donuts. Mmm. Well, I wish I had a fat Thursday, but I kind of have a fat every day. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam Clary bestows true bro status on Thanasi Kokonakis. Thanasi Kokonakis, how sweet is the doping room straight after a match? Chillin', hashtag chillin' with the testers, hashtag bros. He is a bro. He wore a beanie to the player party last night in Paris. So what does the Fed do when he returns to Halle, Germany? Well, he visits Roger Federer Alley, of course. This week, the seven-time tournament champion returns to Halle for the 13th time in the last 16 years. Federer is seated first in a field that includes world number five, K. Nishikori, sixth-ranked Thomas Burdich, Gail Monfils, and also big-serving Ivo Karlovic. Ivo also visited Federer Alley, which left him searching for his own street. All right, let's be honest. Doubles doesn't always get the love and attention that singles generates. Well, if you're not a doubles fan, maybe you will be after seeing this crazy cool point from the Stuttgart doubles final, featuring mad scrambles, stab volleys, a tweener lob, and a topspin lob dropped on a dime inside the line to close. And it all happened on championship point. Here's Rohan Bopana and Florin Merja winning Stuttgart in style with one of the wildest doubles match points we have seen. That's the news for now. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.